and I've got both of the products of the ferment here to show you. The first one is the actual suins. This is suins. And here I've cooked it up as a porridge. And that's the way I mostly like to eat it. That's the way it was traditionally eaten in Scotland most of the time. And it is a wonderful way to have a morning oat porridge. It's creamy and smooth, much more smooth than standard porridge. And its flavor is tart, but it has so many other flavors coming from the fermentation. The strongest one that I've noticed is honey. I can smell the honey here with it under my nose and you can taste the honey when you enjoy it for your breakfast. And it's nutritious because it's been fermented. We'll be talking about the health benefits of it later in the course. And it's absolutely delicious. It's totally yummy. It's good for breakfast. This is a clear porridge. I just wanted to show you what it looked like without anything on. But obviously I throw things on my porridge for breakfast. So it's really good with your standard um, porridge toppings that you would have. It's also good used in other places. For example, I've used it in place of mashed potato in dishes. It's good as a kind of a polenta style dish as well. So it's not just a breakfast food. And the liquid that this suins is fermented in is also a prized food in Scotland or was when um, suins was made regularly. This is it. It's got its own name, it's called Swats. And when you taste it, it's really zingy and fresh. It's full of probiotics. It's really nice cold out of the fridge on a hot day, but I like it the most when it's warm. So I often warm it up and I'll put in mulling spices to it to make it like a warm, comforting, wintry drink. It's really wonderful.